Blog Talk Radio. Your new start, a new beginning. Um, everything that happened back last year, I'm going to leave it into last year. Anything that's good, I'm going to bring it. It's, it's going to be good. It's going to be good. So now, what we're doing here is, um, you know, everything's going good. I started the year off good. I have a new, a new Year's resolution. I started going to the gym. I'm down uh, about four ounces or so. Uh, I checked that out. It was good. And I know it, it's, uh, it starts off slow, but it's, it's good. It's good. But the reason why I'm coming on late here... Oh, Tony, come lately, I think not. The reason why I'm coming... Uh, showing up uh, late for a... Uh, you know, a, a show... It's because we're going to go great. We're going to stay. It's a new Jim as in G-Y-M. Not Jim as in James and no. Hey, nobody fucking me in the ass and I'm not gay. But there's nothing wrong with being gay. A lot of my listeners are gay. Um, Ash is gay. Joe Gibson's gay. Ken is gay. I have a lot of gay fans. It's fine. What I want to say is uh, this is going to be a new Pillow Talk. Tony Talk presents Pillow Talk. And don't worry, it's not in the way of danger mode. But we all have a little bit of danger mode in us. And if you don't have any uh, danger mode in you, I know a couple of ladies that want. <laughs> and speaking of which, here's my new hit song, and we're going to go right into the phone calls because it's late. And Tony G, Uncle T, everybody's favorite internet uncle. Everybody's favorite internet uncle. Well, he's going to give you some advice. Late at night. That's right. Here's my new song. Enjoy. The year is 2022. That's right. Welcome to Tony Talk. Tony Talk Nights. Pillow Talk with Tony G. But this had to be another hit. Here it is. This song's about something that I love to do. You know, my wish is know how to do because of me. Here it is. Oh, baby, do you like what you say? I want you to hit the sides with me. Let me take you home and then you'll see. You wanna hit the sides with me. Oh, 
to mute the microphone. Thank you. Turd McGillicuddy said that song was an ass banger. So, you know, you know, you had guys like Sal, a.k.a. J-Bo, who uh, thought that he could sing and make music. And, uh, no, that's music. That's music. And, uh, I'll tell you what else. Uh, no, I didn't fight. And i tell you what else. Rico, all those guys, I sing better than them, and that's what I put out. I will be making more music, and that's it. That's it. But I'll tell you what. Sal or J-Bo or whatever, your number's up. I'm not taking you into 2022 with me. No, there's no uh, Sal. There's just J-Bo. And I don't give a fuck about Rico and nobody or um, uh, It's done. So what's happening tonight is I'm taking phone calls. Just like I'm taking names and taking ash. Kicking ashes. Taking names and, and kissing and kicking ashes. No, Papa Squat. Sal is J-Bo. There's no Sal. We're going to go. We're going to go to 443. We're going to go to 443. 443, what do you hear? What do you say? You are on Tony Talk Presents Pillow Talk. And before I bring on 443 for some love advice that they may need, I am going to let everybody know that you can call in at 267-521-0181. Press 1. To speak to Uncle T. But if you're a lady, you're speaking to Tony G. 443, what do you hear? What do you say? Tony Baby, how you doing? Not bad. Oh, scarcely from out of salsa water I'm drinking. What do you hear? What do you say? And to what can I help you with as far as love advice goes? Um, well, first off, I, I like the new song. It, it actually sounds really good. I've stuck my head already. But um, not necessarily love advice, but what, what sauce do you use when it comes to making spaghetti? Right now I'm making some noodles. Uh, I got the I got the meat ready. I got the meat ready now. I just need the sauce. What type of sauce do you, do you use? You know, I, no, as long as you don't use ragu. And as a matter of fact, Ragu, there's a guy named King Dice out there that I had to sign a bottle of Ragu, and I just mailed it over to j so j can uh, send it to him. But don't ever use Ragu. Don't ever use Ragu. And there's no... Hang on a second, Paula. There's no fucking guy named Jim anywhere, Captain Dennis. There's no guy named Jim, and I want you to take that picture that you have with me on my face on there. Well, I don't know what it's doing. Fucking a dog. I don't know. Taking a shit. I can't see it, but I can tell that's my face. And I want you to get rid of that fucking profile picture because uh, I'm going to find out who you are. Don't use my images. And okay. now there's nobody named Jim. G-Y-M. It's a place where you work out and sweat and get jacked. I can feel my bicep already. But go ahead. Okay, so don't use ragu. Got it. Now, speaking of gym, I'm glad to hear that you're going to the gym, Tony. It sounds like you're making some progress. Yeah, uh, yeah I'm doing it all by myself. I'm not asking no trainer. Nothing like that. I got a guy that comes over to me, and he says, hey, you need a coach? And I go, no. 
Uh, so, you know what I mean? That's good. That's good. The only, one that, the only one that should be improving yourself is you don't need you don't need any outside resources to fix to fix yourself. That's right. And you don't need any fixing because you, you're the uncle Pete. You're the man. That's right. No, no you're right. You're right. Now, Tony, is it okay if I give some shout outs? Uh yeah, you can. Uh, you can do. You can do that. That's fine. All right, shout out to uh, Cobra Jeff, internet friend, Mad Mark, uh, Jojo Bakira, shout out to, uh, shout out to uh, Sal, shout out to Rico, shout out to uh, Alfonso. No, 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 no. Oh, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, no. I'm sorry. No, Sal, Sal is j Do not shout out. Oh, oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, okay, I'm, I'm sorry, Tony. Um. Okay. Shout out to uh, Tony Monahan. Shout out to Internet Friend. I guess shout out to Ned Mark. Shout out to uh, Luigi. And shout out to Johnny Longfeather. Press R okay. to, check, to show Johnny Longfeather. Um, okay, no, Johnny Longfeather has not. Uh, he's Clarabelle, saying. Clarabelle. Press R in the chat to show Johnny some respect. Fuck you, Clarabelle. Suck my balls, motherfucker. And don't call here. Happy New Year. Clarabelle, Son of a fuck bitch. you. Dickhead. This is going to be a real, you know. Call in for love advice. Love advice. And that's that. Love advice. Oh, I'm Sal. I gotta take a piss. The fuck out of here. 269. What do you hear? What do you say? Yo, this Ron Don Vellante. That's V O L A T E. Just call me Pete. I'm from Detroit, Michigan, and I'm a bit of a love maker myself, Uncle T. Oh. I just love your sexual advice for the ladies. It works so well. Tell me, Uncle T, what's your favorite piece of advice to get the ladies? And I gotta say this low, my man. What? Well, what you gotta do is. You gotta go up to them. You gotta walk up to them and you gotta say, Let me ask you a question. Don't even say hi. Don't say hi. Just walk up to them. They like, they like testosterone. They like real men. They like guys that ooze machismo. So you gotta go up to them. You gotta go up to them and you gotta say, Let me ask you a question. Do you like what you see? There it is. If they say no, if they say no, if they go, ugh, and they walk away, you say, you're lost, baby. But if they say, if they giggle, or they say yes, or they smile, it means they're thinking about it. It means... They're thinking about it, so you got to pay attention. That's right, Uncle T. That's some good lovemaking advice, and I hope the listeners are paying attention. And you know, I always tell my people who listen to my show in Detroit, Michigan, I tell them, when you're in bed with a lady, you know, you got to want her, and you got to tell her you want her, and you got to say, baby, this is for you. Do you agree with that stuff, Tony? I, I've said it before. I've, I've um, I've said it before. I remember I climaxed uh, on this girl, and I got it all over the place, you know. And uh, and I said to her, I said, I just looked at her. I go, I'm sorry about that. No, no, I didn't say I'm sorry. I said, I said to her, I said. That was for you. Amen. You never apologize for climax, and that's something you don't do. That's not manly. You own it. The girls love it when you own it, man. They love it. You know, there was this one time. There was this one time I was hitting the side to this broad, and she was a fucking neat freak, okay? She was out of her mind. She wouldn't let me... uh, she, you know, she changed the sheets every every day, twice a day. She uh, 
constantly would clean her uh, her uh, bedroom, her kitchen all the time and everything. And she made me so paranoid, you know, that I pulled out, when I pulled out of her, because we, we were together for a bit. So I started using the pull-out method. I'm very good at the pull-out method. So I pulled it out, and she was such a lunatic. I was so, so paranoid that when I finally shot my load, and it went all over the place, I actually tried to catch it. You know, I actually, I was like, oh, shit, I went to go catch it. And then I realized, then I realized, I was like, you know what? I didn't catch it. It hit the floor. She looked at me, and I said, couldn't be helped, baby. You did a good job. And she wasn't mad at me. She wasn't mad at me. But I did. I shot it right across the room. I shoot far. I shoot far. Amen, Uncle T. And let me tell you, if you're good at the pull-out method, I got a way to spice it up, as I would say. Are you interested in hearing? This is love advice for some of the listeners, too. I'll take what I can get, pal. Yeah, amen. You know, here in Michigan, we got the Coney Island shops. It's where you buy these hot dogs. They're called Coney Islands. Wieners, if you will. And this fresh new move for this week, it's called the Coney Island Chili Dog, baby. You take her out to dinner, nice fancy restaurant, a big steak, some delicious red wine, and some Altoids, baby, to freshen her up. Take her home, and you lay her down slow before going in hard. You tell her, no time to go freshen up, babe. Don't use no bathroom. Just come in my bedroom and come with me. And then when the time comes, and this is where the Coney Island comes in, you stick it in her ass, her bottom, her bazeer. And all that chili from dinner going to come out, that goodness. Then you take your chili dog, your rock hard chili dog, and you feed her what she was cooking, and you say, this is for you, baby. And she might gag a little. She might gag a little. Because some girls don't like that. They think it's nasty. But I think it's hot. I don't know what you just said, but if they like it and it's hot, you do it. I'm saying you got to have her, you know, a lot of natural lube, if you will. I'm a naturalist when it comes to sex. And when you stick it in her ass after a big dinner and you jostle her up a little bit, she'll get squirting back there, you know? I know, she'll I know get squirting what you mean. back there. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I, I've, got, I've gotten... I mean... I've gotten drowned it out. I've gone... I've gotten... I've gone surfing. I call it... Uh, what the hell is it? Squirt surfing. Okay. And women squirt all over me. It was like it was like body surfing in the water. You know what I mean? But yeah, Amen. yeah, that's a good one. Everybody, I'm, I'm I want talking, you to know, squirt surfing. I'm talking about something a bit different than squirting, though. It's a bit around. I'm saying the chili's got to come out, man. I'm talking about the diarrhea, the poop, okay. the natural. You, mood. You're disgusting. I thought you were a smooth. Smooth mama, mama jammer with me, smooth. but you're not a smooth mama jammer. You're a dumb son of a bitch. I am a smooth mama get the, jammer. Get the Don't fuck just out talk. Of here. Get the fuck out of here. Talking about shitting everywhere. I said when a girl squirts, that's a good thing. It's a good thing. No, Nickers, that car wasn't the real danger, smooth. Six one seven. Six one seven Boston, you are on the air with Tony G. Late night pillow talk brought to you by Tony Talk. <laughs> you need some love advice? What's up, six one seven Boston? What you do? How do you pull? This is Tony Talk, aka Uncle Fat, aka Uncle Dick Suck, aka. Danger smooth. You, you're not the real danger smooth. 
You are yes, a stupid, am. stupid son of a bitch. You, I am not Uncle Dick Shuck. You're Uncle Dick Shuck. You, so you, so you're Uncle Dick Shuck. You said I was watching. That means you are. No. No. I am. I'm not Uncle Dick Shuck. You're Uncle Dick Shuck. Let's get this right. No, you're Uncle Dick Shuck. You're Uncle Dick Shuck. Did you stick a shit? Also, uh, you remember that book that was mentioned yesterday? You know, I'm I mean, laughing. You know why I'm laughing? Because your voice yeah. is stupid. Your voice sounds like a fucking cartoon, and you're trying to shine That's like me. That's a cartoon, not a cartoon. I'm not a fucking yeah. cartoon. I'm a real fucking man. Hey, so am I. I'm a real man with a big old shit. You said you sucked the shack. You probably did. You, you said you sucked the shack. What the hell? And you catch it alone. You lick it off the floor. Okay, no, I didn't. I tried to catch my load, so she didn't get mad. But she didn't get mad so because you licked it off your hand. You are like Johnny Longfeather. You have joined the band list. Don't ever call here again. You don't want advice? Uh, you want to aggravate me? Uh, yes, I do want advice, because I'm promoting my new band called Tony G and the Niggas. Oh, you don't say <laughs> nigga, get out of here! <laughs> that is a word from this show. 5-1, Shero. Don't be like that stupid son of a bitch. Okay, I, I don't mean to laugh. I don't mean to laugh. But his voice sounds like a cartoon. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Someone sounds like a cartoon, but it's funny. It's sorry. It's just funny. But it's not my voice. Five, one, zero. Five, one, zero. Welcome to Tony Talk Presents Pillow Talk. What do you hear? What do you say? Hey, Tony. It's Tommy. How's it going? Not bad, Tommy. How are you, my friend? How are you? Welcome to Pillow Talk. It's a new series by Tony Talk. Uh, not much. Just kicking back. Your t- Pillow Talk concept reminds me of a bit of a Pillow Talk story I, I have. If you don't mind. If I tell it. I don't mind at all. Have at it. This is this is where love advice, love stories. That's why. That's why we have this show. But go, go ahead, Tommy. Well, about two years ago, I hooked up with this chick. We've been we've been going out off off and on, and we started we started get we started having sex more. And one night, we had probably some really bomb ass sex you know but bunch of back and forth she was riding me i was plowing her the bed was rocking the bed almost broke and it seemed like we were about to get ready to go for round two and yeah. then just as she gets back into the bed she was telling me how how great i was in bed and how and i was telling her how great she was in bed and then she took and then she was talking about how how she w- wants to like start a new life with me, move out of town, all that kind of stuff, you know. And then she'd be able to give it to me every every night uh, for, for for the rest of our days, that kind of thing. And then I and then I and then I closed in on her, and then I told her I had a secret for her. And then well, she asked me what. And I told her that her boyfriend hired me to kill her. And she was shocked. So I quickly rose up, and then I smothered her with a pillow and killed her right then and there. Uh, okay, yeah, we can't have murder talk. This is a murder talk and don't confess on shows. People listen to this show, and now you fucking made me an accessory to this. I don't want... And no, I didn't jerk up. You know what? Get out of here. I'm sorry, Tommy. You can't love, call love me. Love you, here. Tony. 
You love your toe. Fucking psychopath. Um, and no, I'm not jerking off. And I wasn't fapping. This isn't called murder talk. I, I, just, I don't want to hear. Um, 111. 111. You are going to be on the air. Tony G. Tony Talk presents a new series on Blog Talk Radio. Pillow Talk. Welcome to the show. What do you hear? What do you say? One, one, one. Good evening, Dr. Tony. This is Dr. Peter Pavancero from Imperial Beach, California. How are you? Oh, Dr. Ventura, what do you hear? What do you say? How are you? Well, I figured it's a new year. It's a new us, Tony, and I am doing great. And I figured uh, I needed to call in. And find out how you were doing, and let you know that I was uh, doing great myself. Um, and the nature of the show really called my attention. Uh, pillow talk. You know what better topic than pillow talk? So uh, I wanted to ask you some advice for my younger nephew. Um, sure. So he's a teenager. Uh, what do you recommend? Uh, for him to pick up uh, teenage girls. Uh, for, what, what, what are we talking about, a uh, teenager? Are we talking about like 13, 16? Because I, I can't go any lower than 16. Uh, no, no, no uh, 15 and 16 is uh, is is the preference. Uh, my, I mean, his preference. 15 and 16 years old. Yes, absolutely. Right, yeah. That's from um, yours. Well, when, when I was a when I was a young a young Tony G, which was a very long time ago, what I used to do was I would walk over to the girls, and it's very simple. You just go over, you walk over to them, and you say, "How you doing?" And they're gonna say, "Hi." And be like, you know, got a question for you. Um, now, even if you go to the school or whatever, you got to ask them. You got to say, where's the library? Even if you've been there for years, where's the library? I've never been there before. Then she'll say, oh, it's whatever, whatever, whatever. She'll give you directions. You say, okay, thank you so much. Um, do you know how, uh, do you know what kind of books they have there for poetry? And then she'll look at you and be like, oh, that's how it happened. That's what, that's what I used to do. Or you've got to strike up a conversation. You've got to go over there and compliment them. I like your bracelet. Uh, I like your, your, your necklace. I like your, your shirt. Well, you can't say shirt no more because you're going to think you're staring at the tits. But that's what you got to do. I like your belt buckle. Uh, hi. Um, oh. what's your, you're going to say what's your name. You're going to, you, or you just do what I do as an adult. You got to go over there and say, how you doing? Do you like what you see? And these younger girls. No. Not now. I don't talk to younger girls now. The younger girls will giggle and say, yes, and then you got them. And if they say no, then you say, eh, you're lost, toots. And that's it. That's well, how you do that. it. I love that giggle. Uh, uh, Tony, what would you recommend for uh, my, my nephew? He looks a little bit older, uh, so he doesn't... Uh, Let's just say he doesn't go to the same school he does. They do the uh, fifteen and sixteen year olds, uh, and he's not allowed within uh, uh, about six hundred feet within that school. What would be the best way to uh, to get them to come to him uh, in a car far away? What would be the best way to uh, to get them over and get their attention to? to court them, if you will, into, uh, let's just say, a, a big white minivan or a white uh, van uh, with no windows. Um, 
Well, you you gotta well, what you gotta do is you gotta um you you gotta um you gotta give them a reason to come over and talk to you. You know what I mean? You gotta you gotta just uh, you gotta dress nice. Maybe uh just be standing there. Uh, I don't know why he'd be. We, he's a young kid. Why is he driving a van with no windows or whatever? But whatever. He's gotta he's just gotta stand there, and when he sees her, you know. So follow, follow her in the van and say, hey, you need a ride? That's all you got to say. Okay, and uh, now uh, I guess, um, yeah, I could, I could do that. I mean, I, I could give him that recommendation. I, that's definitely it. Uh, and and uh, nowadays it's a lot harder to get... Uh, you know, chlorophyll, what's the best way to get them to fall asleep soon, quicker? Uh, why, 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 would, why would you want them to, to fall asleep quicker? Uh, you know, maybe they have a uh, sore throat, sore neck, uh, body aching, or uh, maybe that's just the way uh, we want them to be for a little. I mean, that maybe they want to take a nap and they don't know how, and... What what I mean? What would what would you use, Tony, to put someone to sleep uh, instantly? With uh, and let's just say they didn't know sleep was good for them, so you don't want them to know they're taking a certain substance. I, I gotta um, go. I, I have to go. I can't I can't talk about this. Thanks for your call. Uh, I gotta I just, go. Very uncomfortable. Um. Yeah, I heard them say chloroform too. I I can't have I can't have people. Uh, Coming on here and saying these things, I, I just can't have it because it's making me nervous. And you guys are... Hang on a second, please. I know what that call was about. Hang on, please. I needed my inhaler. I'm sorry about that. I apologize so much, so much about that. Ah, hang on. We're going to go to the next caller. We're going to go to the next caller. Uh, 443, I can't have... I can't have this guy... This, this guy this, I need a... Uh, I'm going to play a song, and I'll be right back. All right? All right. I just uh, start. I need to take a song. Play a song. I'll be right back. about that um fucking christ almighty hang, hang on a second my phone i dropped my phone four four three 
That wasn't porn. That wasn't porn. It was a song. It was a song. Four, four, three. What do you hear? What do you say? Go ahead. Think fast, chuckle nuts. Think fast, chuckle nuts. Okay, one one one. Welcome to welcome to Tony Talk presents Pillow Talk. What do you say? What do you say? Excuse me. What do you say? Tony, this is Pastor Veal. How are you today, Pastor? I'm really glad that you gave me a call. How are you doing? Well, I was going to compliment you on, on the show you've been running today because, you know, we've been having a couples group therapy here at the Church of the Holy Sacred Pilgrim out in Valencia, California. Um, but unfortunately, I, I heard what I thought was porn in the background just there, which is no. very ungodly. No, no, that was uh, that wasn't porn. That wasn't porn. What was it then? That was um, it was uh, it was a song I was listening to. Can you play the song for us again? Well, I closed it out, so it's not gonna be there right now. I closed it out. I shut my phone down. Oh darn! I, I it, it it sounded like porn though, Tony. It, there was a woman moaning. It was. Uh, if I could do the impression of it, it was like, uh, like something like that. It was very strange and it was very ungodly. No, that wasn't it. It was, um, it was a part of a song. I just didn't want it to interrupt the show. It was like, oh, baby, yeah, it was a song. It was a song. Who's the song by, if you don't mind me asking? It's a new artist, I think. I don't, I don't know. It's, uh, I was just playing a random, random um, stuff. Yeah, I think it might have been Adele. That, that's who it might have been. Oh, man. Adele is a, it's sometimes a godly musician, but if she's putting sex sounds in her music, Insane Energy said it's Tony and Jim's porno. That's what I was also meaning to ask you about. Who is Jim? I go to the gym and I work out. Not, I don't You go, go to gym? No, yeah, I go to the gym, not not J I M G Y M. That's an interesting way of spelling gym. J Y M. Now it's a place where you work out. It's a place oh, where you work out. Place. Well, it's it's good at least you have a workout buddy named Jim, but make sure not to uh, do anything sexual with him. That would be ungodly, okay? <sighs> yeah, I know. Well, um, Tony, I, I I will compliment you on the rest of the show. It's been really helping, you know, me out in in the in the couples ministry out. They've been saying, um, you know, the sex has never been better. They've been doing all all the things you've been saying to do, looking people in the eyes. I've had reports of, uh, you know, the the men have just been so satisfied. Now, Tony, do you have any love advice that you haven't been giving recently, especially for situations? where men may suffer from erectile dysfunction? Uh, yeah, there's a pill called HIMSH. Uh, they don't, they don't um, you know, if it's emotional, they should go to therapy first. But uh, there's uh, a place called HIMSH. A, a place, there's a pill called HIMSH. And um, I think that's what they, uh, that's what the guys use. Have you been using hymns? Is there like, can you can you speak to its success? No, you know, and I wish I I had a. I wish they, you know, they make a lot of pills. They make a lot of money, so I, I really wish that they would, uh, you know, I gave them a shot. I wish they would uh, maybe make a donation, <laughs> you know. But no, I've never used it before. There was another. Excuse me. There was another. Um, oh. I said excuse Why? me. Surfing on the phone with a pastor, Tony. I pulled in away of- from the microphone. I don't do none of that. 
Okay, well, Tony, um, I, I really hope the hymn supplements are working, and I'm glad you're working out with Jim. I don't, if you could put I don't me on take, mute, I don't take the hymns. I don't. I just know about it because I have a friend that takes it. Tony, um, if you if you ever have an issue with sex addiction, because it, it's a real thing, you you can always reach out to me on Discord, especially if you know the the song that you were playing wasn't actually a song, because Tony, it, it did sound like porn to me. It was a song, and thank you for your call, best of you. Amen. Thank you. It was definitely a song. It was a song. It's fine. Um, five zero six, five zero six. You will be online, on the air with Tony G. Tony Talk presents Pillow Talk. What do you hear? What do you say? Hello. So, it's just Kent. This is Dr. Rabbi Lawyer Dentist Librarian Storekeep Practice and Humanitarian Kent Hopper, my son. Well, well, how how are you? Uh, how how you doing there, Kent? Hope everything's good. I hope you had a wonderful New Year. I had a most beautiful New Year filled with lots of vagina. Uh-huh. Not my penis went into vagina and female anus. Can you believe it? Well, yeah. Yeah, yeah I mean, I, I believe it. From what I hear, you're a real poon hound. <laughs> so that's good. I am, Tony. It reminds me of a poem. Oh? I am going to do some excerpts from my poem. We are okay. pumping that dragging bad rhythm to make those pretty little pussy lips kiss them. Kiss them, kiss them, kiss them. In the mind is one design to make you feel fine. Stucking on mine with a 69. I am inclined to fuck, 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 fuck your brains out. Make her moan, make her groan, and make her shout. Push it all in and pull it out. Bump that labia till it pates. Open your legs to the sensual sound. Let the booty bust in, beat pound your pretty wet mound. Mm-hmm. I can tell you're like a horny butt hound. Feel the bass pump the ground. As you're dropping to your knees and I come unbound. And now you make your mouth to get undown. Our lustful notes will boil your blood. When they slither the slide on under your hood. Make me shoot power. Pack the put. Like... A well lady loving viable stead, causing what is known as juicy wet pud, getting it, getting it good. Open your legs, the central sound, let the booty busting beat pound your pretty wet mound. And that's Tony, is how you can kiss the door, a woman. But I don't expect you to know this, because um, what, of course I know. Don't know shit about vagina. 
you it's, just it's get just, a saying A? No, I don't it's get any. what you uh, I let you say a poem, and now you're telling me that I don't know anything about vagina. Well, what the fuck is your problem? Call you. That's because you were having secret sex at Kim's party with Tony F. And you said you weren't into the man Neptune, but you were. Many have confirmed it. You uh, were into the, no, your penis time, into the end of Tony F. So you are I, against Tony for that. I never had sex with a guy, and I sure as fuck wouldn't put my big dick inside of Tony F. So I don't know where you get your fucking information you from. Are disgusting. Bert. Fucking that man, and I never Even fucked I man, Anus. I never fucked it, Johnny and I will feathers. never. Excuse me. I said I, Anus, not even with Johnny Featherlong's penis. Well, you, know you, you, you know what? You know what? You're a nasty bitch. Don't call my fucking show no more. You just got your. You're it's right to take me. it away. Good Call God. it a bitch. Uh, a bitch. I, I'm not going to deal with that. I never fucked a guy in the ass, and this is how rumors start. This is how rumors start. With people saying that I get fucked in the ass or I do the ass fucking. I don't fuck. I don't get fucked in the ass. I don't. I don't do it. No, I, this, there's a rumor going around. There's a rumor going around that I get fucked in the ass. I don't get fucked in the ass. Anybody gets fucked, it's me that does the fucking. Three one seven. We're gonna keep the show smooth for the next eleven minutes. Go ahead, three one seven. What is your love query for Pillow Talk, a Tony Talk series, late night? What do you hear? What do you say? Three one seven. Fucking calling in here, shit. Like fucking yes. Three one seven. Hey Tony, this is Tits mm-hmm. McGee. I just want to call in and say congratulations on your four-ounce weight loss. Congratulations on your boyfriend, Jim. Thank you. And, very um, okay, no. I don't Also, have... I have some sex advice. What I no, do... I don't have a boyfriend. What I do to anybody is I walk up to them and I show them my man tit and I jiggle them in their face and I say, do you like what you she? And then I okay. masturbate. I'm sure you do that. I'm sure you do that and you don't get arrested for it because you belong in fucking jail. Good night. Thank you for calling. Show Son sucks. Of a bitch. You suck. Yeah. Dang, I'm sure that's normal. Hi. How you doing? You you like what you see? Oh, here's my man bitch. Oh, here's my man bitch. Let me jerk off on you. Yeah. There it is. I'm sure that, that's what works. I'm sure that's what fucking works. Sure. Oh. Oh, here I am. Huh, how you doing? You like what you see? My name's Tits McGee. Here's my tits. Here's my jerking off and my dick. Whopping it around. How you doing? Hey, I'm sure you do that. I'm sure you do that. Why well, can't people just call in late night? This is late night for adults. Late night for adults. I don't have adults calling in. I got... Morons calling in here, okay? The fucking morons, stonards, fucking disgraciards calling in here and talking about stuff like that. You know? And no, you guys always say, and I say, nigga, I never said that. Never did. Never did that. And it's, it, I, but 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 it's okay for people to call in and say, "Here my tits, here my tits." I'm jerking off on you. Here, here, this is what happens. There, jerking off in front of people. Just jerking off in front of people. It's 
disgusting. It's not what people do. It's okay for them to do that. It's okay for them. No, I'm not jerking off on the air. That's not not what I do. I'm not jerking off on the air. You know, you guys can't call in with normal shit. You gotta call in with fucking weirdo. So I get a weirdo's calling in here. Kits McGee. Kits McGee. I'm Kits McGee. Yeah, I jerk off on people. Right in fucking public and I don't get arrested. Oh, congratulations. You're in your four-ounce weight loss. I know who that is. Just like I know who Sal is, I know who you are, Titch. I fucking know who you are, Titch. Know who you are, Titch. Get Johnny Wong fed Johnny Longfeather. Just like I know who Sal is. Sal is j Johnny, go take your tits and go fuck j in the ass. Okay? Six, seven, one. You better be a good call. I'm going to hang up on your fucking ass. We got six minutes left. Go ahead. Hey, baby, give me a refill. I'm out. Hello? How are you? Hello? How are Tony. Tony, it's DC2, baby. What's going on? Not much, uh, Donnie. I, I just, I had, a, I had a rough night. People accusing me of watching porn. People accusing me of watching uh, porno in the air. People oh. accusing me of, uh, you know. Tony. Tony, I, to- I tuned in late, man, and uh, I-, I got to say, there's a lot of gay talk going on on your show. Are you uh, having anal sex with a man named Jane or uh, Jimmy or something like that, Tony? The- no, no, I'm not. And I'm having, I'm not having sex with men. I'm not gay, and I didn't fuck Tony for, for Tata, None of those people. Oh. And I wasn't watching Nina Hartley porn on the air. And I wasn't doing disgusting things. Tony, I have to say, the last few times I've called in, I've heard a lot of gay talk. Uh, you had a, your man friend on that one episode. Uh, I think his name was Coach. They made a TV show about him or something. Uh, and then also... Uh, and, and he was very feminine sounding that that man, and and I, I know that you took it from him anally, and so it makes me you know kind of suspicious that you're taking it from this gym guy too, Tony. Are you a gay? Are you are you are you a gay prostitute, Tony? No, I am not a gay prostitute. And Coach Wilson was a life coach, and I didn't have sex with him. I don't have sex with men. Tony, where did you get all that money to send me the brand new SUV you sent me, man? You don't got that kind of money. You got to be swinging this on the side of something, Tony. I did not send you an SUV. Tony. Tony, I got the voicemail you left me, man. You sent me the SUV. I just want to know how you got the money. Was it by legal or illegal means, brother? I because you know prostitution is illegal. Tony Farrar taught us that. Gay, gay prostitution especially is bad. In the homosexual community... Because they pass around something called the AIDS. I, I and you know, don't want to get the AIDS on it because that'll kill you, brother. No, I don't want the AIDS, and I'm not gay, so I don't I don't get it, fucked in the ass. They also be selling them gay rubbers too, or the or the them gay pills, the his pills or whatever you was talking about. They're called hymns. Listen, listen, you need to find the Lord, brother. You need to find the Lord. You need to go back and find Father Gianni and find is he is, is he still living? Is he still with us, Tony? Last I heard, Father yeah. Gianni. Yes. You need to find Father Gianni and have a meeting with him and find the Lord. You are not going to find the Lord inside another man's rectum, Tony. He's not in there, brother. I'm not. 
I'm not Tony, trying listen. to. Tony, listen, listen. I know, listen, everybody loves raw dog sex. I love it with women. And you apparently love it with many men. But listen, man, the Lord is not inside a man's asshole. You got to find the Lord in the Bible. You got to talk to Father Johnny. Now, I just called in because I was upset with what I heard, Tony. Now, I'm going to get back off the show. I'm going I'm to listen to the rest of the show, how much of it's left. And then I'm going to listen to next week's show. I would like to hear more pro-straight sex on your show. Enough with the gay sex. You got rid of Tom and his gay brother, Tim. That was great. Now, now you bring in the, the, the gay talk back, brother. I want, I want less gay talk, more straight talk. You know, bring Kent on. That, that poem was beautiful. He's talking about Paul laying with some honeys. I mean, that was yeah, a beautiful Kent, poem. But Kent said I got fucked in the ass. Well, he just speaks the truth, man. You can't hate a man for speaking the truth. You're being stupid because I don't get fucked in the ass, and you should know this. Tony, wait a minute. Hold, hold on a minute. Did, motherfucker, did you, just, did you just call me stupid, motherfucker? No, I no. I will fire out your ass, Tony. And then I'll bring in one of my gay cousins to plow your ass, and that won't feel good, my man. I, I know. This is what they done with you, asshole, brother. Listen, I'm not playing with you, Tony. Don't start talking shit to me. Listen, I'm getting off now before I get angry and say some ungodly shit on your show, okay? So I'm out. Yeah, DC2 is out. But, Donnie. Donnie. I didn't call him stupid. I just said he was being stupid. I didn't mean it. I was getting annoyed. It's just everybody likes to throw shit into my show and ruin it. This is supposed to be late night. You know what? I don't get fucked in the ass. I don't get fucked in the ass. Have a good night. Thanks for listening. This has been Tony Talk Presents Pillow Talk with Tony G.